Hi there, welcome to this short video about dolphin pose. So dolphin is an inversion because we have our heads down and our bums up in the air. And as such, it's really good for strengthening through the shoulders and the upper body and getting us ready for when we perhaps want to do more handstand work or some forearm balance work. So this is just gonna help you with the setup of dolphin pose. Maybe you're used to doing it quite fast in the class and this will hopefully give you some building blocks. It might also help you just to understand the stages that you can use to build up to dolphin if you're coming back from an injury or if you're just starting in yoga and you're not, not feeling very confident with being upside down yet. So we start by measuring up and the base is really important because the base is how we form that stable support system. Okay, so we'll start down on the knees and the knees are hip width. To measure dolphin up really well, we actually hold on to the opposite bicep, so the popeye muscles, in each arm. And that gives us the correct spacing of the elbows, the correct width. From there, we can bring the elbows down, they're underneath the shoulders. Just watch out that you don't hold them too far forward, this is quite common. They do need to be directly beneath the shoulders to set you up well for the pose momentarily. There are many options with the hands here. Traditionally, you'd have the hands flat on the floor with the palms facing down and the hands spread. However, if your shoulders are feeling a little bit vulnerable, if you're coming back from injury, you may find it more comfortable to actually lace the fingers up and then press down through the outside edge of the hand and the forearm that way. So you choose which one works for you. So we can actually start here with a position called dolphin prelude. So obviously, as the name suggests, it's kind of getting you on the way. The first skill here is to wrap the shoulder blades round the outside of the ribs. And you'll notice as I do that, that the spine between my shoulder blades just starts to lift a little bit, and that's okay. My head will come down, my neck stays relaxed. And as I take that wrap of the shoulder blades and start pressing the forearms into the ground, what I'm feeling in here is that my abdominals have actually started to engage. They've switched on, I can feel them. And that's a really strong support base for us to work from. And if you're just starting with yoga, that might be where you're at for now, and that is absolutely fine. If you wanted a little bit more here, you would then tuck your toes. And on a breath out, usually, we would then lift the hips up, nice and high and towards the ceiling. Now, we keep wrapping the shoulder blade, lifting up through the ribs. So it feels like the ribs are spreading away from each other here as the shoulder blades continue to open up wide. And what you'll find is that it might well lift you up through your belly. A strong breath here, and I'm pressing firmly into my first fingers, my thumbs, my forearms to create that strong, steady bend. We might play around here with lifting one leg up and then the other, but the premise really is to keep the base very, very strong so that whatever movement that we add to the legs is actually an addition. We don't lose anything at the base. The base maintains its really strong mm, integrity. Okay, so hopefully that helps. If you need any more information about this shoulder blade placement or if you just feel like this is a very very challenging move to get these shoulder blades moving, what you might want to do is go and watch the shoulder unlocking video which is also on the YouTube channel. That's going to give you a really really nice way to start loosening up this movement if that is a movement that you have trouble with. So go and check that out, give that a try, give this a try, and if you need any more help, just let me know, send me an email. Thanks very much.